Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to design the beam and we want to find out the minimum depth and width of the beam. So how to do this? I will try to explain this with the help of an example so it will be more easy to understand. So here consider, let's suppose we have a beam which is a cantilever beam where we have only fixed support here. We see here, we have only fixed support and the length of the beam is known to us is 5 meter, 5 meter. So what is the depth of the beam for such kind of type of beam? What is the depth of the beam and what is the width of beam? So we have to find and design these two things. So according to the ACI code, American Concrete Institute ACI 31814, it states that the minimum depth of the beam for a cantilever beam, when there is a cantilever beam, so minimum depth is equal to the L by 8. L means L is the length of this beam, dividing by 8, so we will get the minimum depth of the beam for a cantilever beam, so L is 5 meter here, 5 divided by 8, so we got here 0.625 to 5 meter. Or if we multiply this with the 1000, so we will get our value in millimeter, so it means 625 millimeter should be the minimum depth for this beam when the length of the beam is 5 meter this is the code requirement now what is the depth of width of the beam so how we can find out the minimum width of the beam so minimum width of the beam is equal to the depth of the beam divided by 1.5 now the depth of the beam is known to us which is 625 so 625 millimeter divided by 1.5 so we got here 416 millimeter. So width of the beam is equal to the 416 millimeter. This is the minimum width of the beam. So this is the code requirement that if you have cantilever beam where only a fixed support and the other end is free, this end is free. So for this kind of beam, you can find the minimum depth of the beam by this formula and minimum width by this formula. So now in our case where the length of the beam was 5 meter, so here our depth is 625 millimeter and the width is 416 millimeter. Similarly for simply supported beam this formula is not valid. Then for simply supported beam for example this is a simply supported beam then this is the length of the beam. So how we can find the minimum depth so it is equal to the L by 16. Just we have changed this constant value 16 before it was 8. So now we have to put 16 here and width of the beam is similarly d divided by 1.5. This formula remains the same like this one. This is for simply supported beam. So this was all about the design of the beam, how to find out the minimum depth and width of the beam. And for more civil engineering videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.